Day one of the impeachment trial against suspended Attorney General Ken Paxton is completed. That's right, and questions of if the trial would proceed were quickly shut down this morning when senators took bipartisan votes denying Paxton's request to dismiss the articles of impeachment. Fox 44's Monica Madden has the latest of a largely procedural start to this historic trial. Well, it has been a jam-packed day so far, and this afternoon is really where we first started seeing things picking up. We heard opening statements from both sides to present their case to the jury. We also heard from prosecution's first key witness, Jeff Mateer. He is Paxton's former hand-picked first attorney general, essentially his second in command. Earlier this morning, we had a flurry of votes on pretrial motions where senators took the critical step of simply moving this trial forward. Forward. A historic day in the Texas Senate. So help me God. So help me God. Unable to vote, Senator Angela Paxton hugged her husband before embarking on the trial that could remove him from office. It started with the swearing in of key players. I do solemnly swear or affirm. Then senators voted to deny all of Paxton's requests to toss out the articles. There being 22 nays and 8 yeas, the Motion is denied. 24 nays and 6 ayes. The motion is denied. Motion is denied. In opening statements, the Republican who led impeachment in the House laid out the lower chamber's case. The House uncovered egregious misconduct and abuse of office by the Attorney General of the state of Texas. He should be removed from office and prevented from ever holding a position of trust in the state of Texas. Paxton's attorneys punched back, attacking the process and what they call false narratives about Paxton. Why did it happen when it did? What was the rush? We've heard in the media about burner phones, secret email addresses, Uber rides, stolen pins, pilfered sport coats. Those are manufactured lies. Both asking the jury to do the right thing after senators prayed for fortitude as they take on a duty only few have before. We just pray that when all this is over that all of us will walk away uh, knowing in your eyes that we did the right thing. And another key moment from today was when Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick, presider of the trial, ruled that Paxton himself cannot be compelled to testify or take the witness stand. He was here in the morning for all of those pretrial motions and sat with his team of lawyers. But by afternoon, Paxton was gone, not there for opening statements or to hear from the first witness at the Texas Capitol. Monica Madden, back to you.